That's all we've been talking about. UCLA, 645. You ever been to a night game in Tuscaloosa? Wow. I'm getting chills right now. <laughs> I can't wait. This is the Crimson Tide Show. The Crimson Tide Show is brought to you in winning tradition by Grady Automotive and Alltel Communications. Alltel, the power to simplify. Hello again, everyone, and welcome to the Crimson Tide Show. I'm Chuck Floyd. And joining me as usual, old 99. Vic Lockett, linebacker from the 92 National Championship team. Man, I love saying that. Chuck, I love hearing you say that too. Thanks and good to see you and good to see all of you at home. The big day has finally arrived, Chuck, and I'm extremely excited. You're excited. How about Victor Ellis? We saw him at the top of the show and I don't think anyone is more excited than is Victor Ellis and ready to get this 2001 season underway. You know what they say, Chuck, the more things change, the more they stay the same. Tyler Watts and Andrew Zow are still trying to separate from each other. Coach Fran has said that he won't be naming a starter until game day, so we still don't know who will be taking the field after the Bruins later this evening. Vic, we all know Bama didn't make it to a bowl game last year, but a few of the guys got a chance to show their stuff in the Dell Champs Senior Bowl. Plus, there was no shortage of things taking place in the offseason. After what would have to be considered the worst season in a half century, the 2001 Crimson Tide will be looking to rebound in a big way. A new coaching regime and a new attitude are in Tuscaloosa and ready to roll. In December, the university hired Dennis Franchoni as head coach. Coach Fran, coming off his second straight WAC championship at TCU, wants a national championship and knows that that road runs through Tuscaloosa. You've got to believe that a team that was 10-2 and two just one year ago uh, can't be too far away. Uh, we've got a lot of team building to do again and some systems to install, but uh, you got to have a degree of confidence in the recent success, uh, e even in spite of this last year. The 2000 team was 3-8 and eight and not bowl eligible. However, Kenny Smith, Dustin McClintock, Paul Hogan, and Tony Dixon got to show off their stuff to the NFL in the Del Champs Senior Bowl. The Senior Bowl is the only postseason college all-star game that's coached by NFL coaches and staffs. Kenny Smith, who in April was drafted by the NFC West champion New Orleans Saints, even got to do some long snapping to show his versatility. I think I did great. Uh, I got a rest of passing pretty good today. Uh, should have had a total of about four sacks, but you know, one got away from me and one was a three-step drop. So uh, I think I did a great job today as far as playing. And it was a rough six days, you know, they had us working real hard, but you know, they they got us doing a bunch of good stuff, uh, such play-wise and meeting with other good players. So we had a lot of fun this week. We got seen by a lot of uh, coaches from the NFL and whatnot. It's been a great experience and I'm proud to be here this week. Springtime in Alabama means A-Day, and that means it's time to take care of some tradition. Last year's captains, Bradley Ledbetter, Paul Hogan, and Kenny Smith, were joined by 1999 captain Chris Samuels to place their hand and footprints in Denny Chimes concrete. Samuels had missed the ceremony last year because he was busy being the third pick in the NFL draft. After the formalities, it was time for some spring football. As usual, 30,000 Bama faithful made the trip to Brian Denny Stadium to get a Bama fix. While just a glorified scrimmage, players get to put on the pads in front of the fans and do some hitting. Santonio Beard made his way into the end zone and the kickers got to kick some field goals. Most impressive on this day was the defense, a swarming group that are being coached by new defensive coordinator Carl Torbush. Most everyone that dressed got to play. Our oh, spring was really rough and uh, it, was, it was a real physical spring and I haven't been through something like this before, but uh, it made today's game real easy, it made it a breeze and, and uh, I kind of understand where Coach Fran is coming from now when he says that as hard as we work in practice it will make the game a lot easier because I didn't feel tired once today at all. Yeah, I mean it, it, it took some time but I realized, you know, he's a hard worker and if we work hard, he's had success at every level, every school he's coached. So therefore, if we keep working hard and buy in to what he's trying to teach us to do, then everything's going to be all right. This year we, uh, you know, have a clean slate, and I believe that's the number one positive thing. And we're we are a team with something to prove as opposed to last year. Oh, I thought I thought I felt that the defense played really well, and uh, that uh, we came off the ball that Coach Torbush wanted us to, and um, we performed to what the coaches wanted us to do on the defensive side of the ball. In August, Coach Fran, Victor Ellis, and Freddie Millens went to Birmingham for SEC media days. Media outlets from all over the conference gathered to hear the new Tide boss and some of his thoughts. Uh, having a new head coach, uh, 
it's very interesting. Uh, it's it's a transition from one philosophy to another. But uh, we've we've done a as a team. I think we've done a great job of adjusting to his style, uh, his attitude. There's a spirit of camaraderie and teamwork that you build in there. Uh, in addition to the strength that helps you handle the grind of a season, helps you handle <clears throat> good football players across from you physically. We're going to take one game at a season, one game at a time, go through the season, see what happens. Uh, UCLA is the first and only game right now. We're preparing for them. We're not looking at Mississippi State, Tennessee, Auburn, just UCLA. We got some business to handle with them, and after we handle them, we'll go to Vanderbilt. I would love to have the respect of the nation as we had last year being in the number three before the season starts. But uh, in this situation, we just, we're going to have to, in a way, gain the respect of the nation. Uh, we're going to focus in on UCLA. They have our full respect. If we had to play today, we would start Andrew, but there's a very fine line of difference between him and Tyler. Uh, I'm comfortable with playing two quarterbacks. I've done that before in 99, won a conference championship, won a bowl game. Uh, if you have a strong team, cohesive group that care about each other and feel accountable to each other. They don't have a problem with doing that. Uh, if you don't have, a, uh, have those ingredients, it doesn't matter who the quarterback is. As fall practice heated up, the new intensity of the 2001 squad was evident. Ben Pollard's strength and conditioning program has the tide beefed up and in shape. You know, the thing I like, and that's kind of defensive ends we like. Tall, wiry guys, athletic guys that uh, you know, you look at him and say, well, he's a basketball player. If we can get a tall guy that's got athletic ability can run, then I don't have any doubt that Ben Pollard and our strength and conditioning program will get him bigger and stronger. You can't make him taller. Really, the players want to blitz, and they want to have fun getting after the quarterback, and I think Coach Torbus is bringing that to this unit. And we're going to blitz every play. We're going to be up in your face. We're going to put a lot of pressure on the quarterback, and we're going to do a lot of things to keep him off balance. With hours running out until UCLA comes to Tuscaloosa, the 2001 Crimson Tide is ready for redemption. Yeah, I think uh, Tyler's coming into his own. I think he's feeling a little bit more comfortable. Um, hopefully, uh, both of them can help us. I mean, we, ha we have a great shotgun uh, package, not only with the passing game, but also with the running game. Um, he, was, he was really discouraged at the fact that we were dropping the, the snaps last week, and so we came and went out there last week and, and really tried to improve on that. And, and we have really cut down on our, our fumbled snaps you know, in the gun. So uh, we have a great package out of that. We have a lot of good stuff that we can run. You know, no matter who's back there, um, we just come together and really start moving the team. And whoever's back there moves the team and get us in the right plays. And hopefully we'll continue to do that. And you know, being number two going into to the fall, um, however it goes, I'm going to be ready and be prepared. I'm going to prepare myself as a starter. Well, Chuck, I was at the Mobile Alabama Bowl where Coach Fran's TCU team played for the second consecutive year. And even though he's a disciplinarian, it was unanimous among the players that I spoke with that they would run through a brick wall for him, even though he worked them hard and he was tough on them. You know, I believe that. Coach Fran has that type of persona, just a guy that you really can believe in. You know, it was just a year ago he took that same TCU team from the very bottom of the conference and moved them all the way to the top in some 11 of those players have now moved on to the next level. Well, I for one am very glad that Coach Fran is in Tuscaloosa, and I think that this could be the beginning of something very special. We're going to step away for just a minute, but when we get back, Chuck will talk to a former Bama quarterback. 